Thanks for calling Autel. Good afternoon, everybody. What else? Thanks for calling Autel. How can I help you? Hi, I'm Sean from Autel. Welcome back to OnCall, our ongoing series where we give you behind the scenes access to our technical support team. Today, we're going to circle back to one of my favorite categories here at Autel, ADOS. And no visit to the ADOS land would be complete unless we invited over our technical support supervisor. Urson, thanks for joining us. Hi, Sean. Again. Nice to see you again. Good to see you. Uh, a lot of things going on in ADOS right now, right? Yeah, we just released the IA900, which is a combination of wheel alignment and a calibration machine. Very cool. Now, I was walking around in your area earlier mm -hmm. this morning, and the phones were buzzing, right? It seems you guys oh, yeah. are getting lit up. Yeah, it's getting very busy lately. Now, this is kind of interesting, and mm -hmm. it's non-technical, because I was eavesdropping, I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. It seemed a lot of the people were talking about failed calibrations, but the answer wasn't necessarily technology-based. No, sometimes it's uh, calibration issues with their environmental setting inside the shop. Uh, maybe objects in the background that could be distracting the pattern uh, in the camera to be in sync with each other. Lighting, you know, stuff like that. Now, actually, that's a great thing you brought up because we have our MA600 here, right? Mm -hmm. Which is our portable solution. Correct. Great for mobile guys or like this, just a very tight shop environment, right? Mm -hmm. So if I was working this car and I was finishing up and pulling it out and you were getting ready to pull your next car in to do a calibration, yeah. I guess we have to be conscious of anything I left behind, like my toolbox yep. or a tool cart or something like that, right? Yeah, we look for objects in the background, toolboxes, uh, sometimes garbage cans. Um, yeah, just anything that could distract the pattern from going through on the now, calibration. Now, I know in the mornings we get a ton of natural sunlight coming in the windows behind me. Correct. Uh, what do you do in that case? We can't, we can't rebuild the shop. So you don't have to spend a lot of money for an easy solution. Uh, you could get some black fabric, maybe hang it up over a window, uh, even sometimes cardboard. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And I mean, the toolboxes are easy enough because we could always roll them out of the way. Correct. Um, and then, I, does it get more finite than that? Is it a matter of the way the walls are painted? Or, I mean, how, how much do we have to be careful of patterns in the background of these objects? Uh, yeah, definitely. I've seen some shops where they have like uh, logos on the wall ah. or designs. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the best solution I would say for a big area like that would be uh, like black fabric to hang up. So if you have a car and it keeps failing the calibration, mm -hmm. I mean, what's the order of operation that you'd recommend? Do you, do you look at the technology first and updates, then you go to background or vice versa? Yeah, that's always a first. Always make sure your updates are up to par on the tool. Mm -hmm. um, and if it, you know, calibration still continues to fail, check your environment, of course. Gotcha, which makes sense. And uh, I mean, even just standing here, here, this, this vehicle's off because it's not the one we're working on, but yeah. if there were daytime running lamps on a car, oh, yeah. that beam projector on the wall could cause a problem as well. Oh yeah, most definitely. We run through that every day. So easy solution, you could just cover the daytime running lights up with a towel. There you go. Mm -hmm. And just get the light out of there. And, and again, you got to look around the whole environment because you've got targets all around sometimes, yep. depending on what you're working on. So yep. one just has to be conscious to make sure with an open mind, think outside the box a little. What here could be disrupting us as Correct. we go? Correct. And a clean shop always helps too. Of course. And mm -hmm. uh, the bosses always like that too, oh, which yeah. is important. Yep. So. All right, listen, again, really valuable help. Uh, I know from having shop background, you're frustrated at this point, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's hard to stop and put the tool down and look around, but it sounds like if you do, it really could pay dividends in the ADOS world. Yeah, most definitely. Make awesome. things a lot easier, and you'll execute those calibrations a lot faster. As always, thanks for joining us. We'll have you back again, Arsene. Thanks again, Sean. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Make sure you guys join us on our next episode of On Call, where we're going to take more people from behind the telephone and put them in front of the cameras. In the meantime, for more information on our full family of products, be sure to visit us at autel.com.